Hey guys, it's me, Timmy's Hype here on the second channel. Welcome back to some more Fours Mods Plus 7, where today we're finally getting back to the Silly Car Build Challenge series. This time we're taking a bit of a boat. This is the 2017 Lincoln Continental. Um, it's got added open with the latest DLC pack, so I thought we got to try it out, aren't we? Let's go now. It's got a little bit of wood on the inside. I have no idea what you can do with this thing. I've genuinely had a look. Um, so, rules for this series go we've got to keep out this stock drive train. We've got to have. Well, we've just got to max it out, so race tyres, um, uh, max tyre works, Fours Aero, all of that shazam. 285s on the front, 315s on the rear. That's not too uh, little, actually, that's quite big. It is all wheel driver standard, I just remembered that, so oh, that might be good for us. We've got to get this Fours Aero on here. This is nothing interesting we can really do with it, which sucks a little bit. Um, I have no idea where this is going to come because, well, it's a big. Big car, so we can get a 6.2 litre V10 or a uh, 5.2 litre V, uh, a 6.2 litre V8 or a 5.2 litre V10. Now this is obviously the Viper engine. This is just a normal V8. Um, we'll we'll see what we want to do afterwards. Um, we'll get all the this stuff on first, the control stuff, the handling. So that's the one. Um, so we're probably looking around, maybe the Kia Sting sort of area. This does have all-wheel drive though, so we're not going to struggle from as much kind of uh, oversteer. What was that? Thousand pounds out of this thing. Okay, we're getting pretty light now. Which, oh, actually, no, we're still very heavy. We've not really took a car right, like, like this round. Uh, no, we haven't. So this is going to be new. Hopefully it's not going to be too slow. Like these menus have been at the minute. <laughs> it's just... Come on, Forza. Come on. There we go. So, we'll go for... I mean, we've took the V10 quite a bit, so I think we'll go for the V8. Then again, we do have all-wheel drive. Because um, this one has a V6 in it at the minute. What was the last thing we did? The Dodge Durango, I'm pretty sure, which we took the V10 in. So, I will take the V10. We're probably going to get more power of the V10. Um, we'll put in twin turbos. Hopefully we shouldn't have too much neutral steer, which is an issue with all the drive cars where you put the power on and it just kind of slides. That's what neutral steer is. And we're just obviously going to max this engine out now, see what we can get out of it, which is about a thousand horsepower, um, which is pretty good. Um, we've got all the drive, we've got race tyres, we've got big tyres, so it's nothing we're going to have to worry about. The cams get only 42 horsepower. These menus have been really slow. Um, we're not getting much horsepower. Where's the horsepower coming in game? Don't do this to me. We're not even in this R class yet. We will be in a minute. Or maybe not. Um, come on. Big power gains from the turbos. 85 horsepower! What the hell happened? Actually, does this get a lot? 970. Why does this. Ah, I don't know. There is our car built. 917 horsepower, 3,700 pounds. Our class as standard. We'll take it to Magellan to give it five laps of practice around the circuit. See just how well we can get this thing to go. Oh, well, how fast we can get this thing to go. Anyway, I'll see you guys there. So, here we are at the Magellan full circuit, giving our Lincoln five laps um, to get its maximum potential. I just remember that I'm actually starting to learn to use manual clutch, so this should be interesting. Um, but, here's a V10 rumble. And you can look at the interior of this thing. Look at the... the um, uh, what's it called? The dashboard. It's just wrong. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> not not took a um, car, like, car yet with... Why is racing line on? What, what? One second. This game's broken. No! None. I don't know why braking line's on. Anyway. There we go. I don't want no braking line. I can't be in there with that. Oh, God. There's a lot of massive burst of speed there. So obviously the first lap is going to be uh, useless because it's from a standing start. But then again, this thing is all-wheel drive, so it just blasts itself off pretty fast straight away. Um, here we go. Look at this. Gear shifts are clean. They're beautiful. Um, car is actually very, very good through the corners. I mean, I know it's got all-wheel drive, and it's got all of that, uh, but. Like some of the other drive cars we've taken have just not been stable. Oh, the brakes aren't the best. Okay, the brakes aren't the best thing ever. But we can deal with that. Just brake a little bit early for some of these corners. Oh, this is glorious. Oh no, it's not got much turning response. Turning, please turn in car. Thank you. 
Oh no, please turn him, please stop, 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 stop. Oh, don't, but okay, it's, it's not, uh, it's not the most turning ever. But again, we can deal with that, we just break early, go slow for around some of these corners. Oh my god, it's actually horrendous. Oh, I said it didn't drive bad, it doesn't drive bad. It, it, it's just not good. Um, it's not, it's not the worst car, it's, not, it's definitely not the worst all the drive car we've driven. Oh my god, it doesn't turn in at all. And the brakes, this thing's too heavy, I think, I feel like the issue's going to be. Um, oh, so we're on... One second, what is this damn? Why is there a come on game? I don't want damage on oh, a no, steering. Yes, where's where's damage? No, you never have. Ah, oh, this game is broken. Okay, now, we, now we're doing this from rally cross. Okay, that's okay. First lap is gone, um, but we, we, we knew that anyway. It's just an exploratory lap, which we're gonna find out what the car's like. Um, it this is so slow around here, it just won't turn in. Jesus, that's like the slowest ever gone around here. Right, we can. Let's see what speed we can get to anyway. So, a 213 puts on power with the Citroen 2 CV at the minute. Yep. Definitely what this car wants. We're only doing 190. Can we get on the brakes? Oh. Just about. Okay, that was scary. We just had that kind of slowing us down there. Second gear seems like a good option because it is pretty long, and this car does have enough torque to get out the corners in second gear and it does accelerate pretty decently well. I feel like some of the regular drivers accelerate faster than this thing has, though. I don't know why the gear is just massively long all of a sudden um, with cars when you put the racing gearbox in them. We're five seconds faster already. Let's not go off here. Yep, good, 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 good. This is it's going much, much cleaner. And we find out that if you get a cleaner lap in, um, then rather than just going massively fast everywhere. Okay. We, we do go a bit wide here, but it's okay. We can pull it around just about. The lap's dirty anyway, so it's not the worst thing ever. Come on. It does feel very, very heavy. I'll, I will tell you that for free. It does feel very, very heavy. Um, it doesn't turn in ever. Like... Oh god, I forgot. Okay. We have kind of ruined that lap a bit because I did forget to clutch in for a, for a gear. And we are 8 seconds above though. So, it's not like we're going to get any slower than what we already have had. Right, let's just keep it on the track this time. There we go. Oh, we're just skidding about on there. That's not good. That's not good. It's got that neutral state that I was talking about. You know, that's when it just kind of slides about, you put the power on it, just kind of spins with all wheels and just kind of goes. And this is very slow on here, just doesn't get turned in. I mean, yeah, it's a tightening, widening, it's a widening radius corner, but that's not good, it's still not good. And it's like the slowest we've done the first two laps ever. 201, currently in, around about the keyest thing, I wasn't looking at my, one second. We're just going to rewind here, because I wasn't looking at my screen when I was doing that, I was looking at my phone to check the times. Um, oh, I'm good on the brakes. Yes, we are. Oh, God. I don't have the lot time to still do it. So, what's the lot time? A 202. It's not even a 201. So, we're on right about the key single right now, which is where I predicted the thing to go. But, which would I rather drive right now? Probably the Kia. Which we probably can get at least a second or so out of this um, car still. Just get clean up a little bit more corners. Uh, uh, oh, God. Turn in more, take more speed, and we should be okay. Right, here we go. We are, there we go, 0.3 seconds up. <laughs> Let's turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in. Yes. See, it's doing very well right now. Well, actually, it's not, but, you know, credit where credit's due. This is a very heavy all drive car. I mean, we probably get better cars in the future. Oh god, turn in, please turn in, please turn in. Oh god, hell. I can't get over the speedo, it just doesn't have any numbers on it. And it's really weird. Like, you, you, I know I'm going somewhere between 0 and 160, but I, I don't know exactly where between 0 and 160. Alright, here we go. Uh, power, we're, we're a second up already, you see? I told you there's about a second to find, and we, this isn't the cleanest lap we could have had yet. So, there is still more time to be found with this here Lincoln. 
Um, like I said, it doesn't drive the worst. It's not the worst thing I've ever driven, just we've driven a lot better. There we go. It's much cleaner through that section as well. And get early on the brakes for here. We're going to really get it turned in and then get power. And oh, still too early. We're going to go out very wide. Still too early. Oh, turn in, please, Lincoln! <laughs> oh, understeery. Lincoln reveal. Oh, let's see. Oh, we're going to get a two minutes one. We're a second up. We can probably be that Kia Stinger or maybe even. What is ever at the two minutes, the Bentley? Oh, will we'll be probably um, a real test for this guy. Didn't do that very well. It's the very, very slow first corner. Is my bad? Is my bad driving there that has put it pretty slow? But it's okay. It will clean up. Clean up. Clean. Up, clean up. And there we go. There we go. There we go. We should be getting our first split time pretty soon-ish. Coming up to this. Um, Next, chicane and the downhill one, um, like S Ben chicane thing. Oh, we're a tenth down. Okay, we're not too bad then. We probably can gain that through the lap. Maybe even go a little bit quicker. I'm not entirely sure though. Come on, power in the Lincoln. All right, keep it, keep it in, keep it in, keep it turn, turn in, keep it clean, keep it on the track, and we should be okay. I think these all have been dirty laps so far, so, um, yeah, let's get on the brakes into here, it's where we, have, where we have some of the most issues around about this area of the track, if we can just clean up that final hairpin, uh, we might be alright, see we've made up about a tenth of a second, oh god we've thrown it all the way, ah, oh, balls, I've got to, ah, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be fast a lot, but hey ho. Oh, the, uh, I'm getting clutch. I don't know why I just, I just completely passed my mind then. We have one lap to really get this Lincoln into the two minute zone. Let's see, can we get it around here and get many speeds? Many speeds. So let's see what we will, after we cross the line, we'll see what time we need, how much time we need to make up to get past into that two minute zone. So, it was a slower lap as we know, so the fastest lap we've had is a 201.2. So that currently is beating the Kia Stinger by tenth of a second. Can we gain one and a bit seconds to get this into the two minutes? Let's find out. So here we are then, final lap, let's see. Can we get this first corner correct? We've not actually gone into any higher than fourth gear so far. Let's um, keep it clean, keep it Yes, it's, I feel like that's a much better first corner. Felt much faster than that last lap anyway, and was only a tenth down after that last lap's first corner. I mean, we did scruff it up through the last lap, but um, oh my god, got a little bit sideways. That was scary. Oh, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. Come on, slow, come on, Lincoln. I know we're trying to slide on four thousand pounds worth of car. Um, look at us. We're two tenths down! How are we two tenths down? Oh, I don't think we're gonna get any faster. We need to get we need to gain like 1.4 seconds to get to the two minutes right now. Oh god damn it. Actually no, we, we only need two tenths to get into the two minutes. We wanna get below the two minutes, we need a 1.2 seconds. So God damn you Lincoln and your slowness. That was very good through that corner actually. Ooh. And easy on the brakes. Power. Come on, come on. In the Lincoln. This big heavy mobile. <laughs> it's a super luxurious heavy mobile though. Oh, we are up a little bit, so that was a very good second sector. Oh, don't throw it all the way at this corner again. Oh, we can get a little bit faster. Can we get this final corner and this section right? Can we gain any more time from it? Is the question. Uh, doing a little bit of curb hopping. And power in the Lincoln! Alright, let's go out wide and let's go for a wider berth into this corner. Here we go. Going out a little bit wide again. But now we can get power on power on power on power on power. Go, 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 Lincoln! Get all 917 horsepower put out to the side. Oh, the wheels can't we get any faster. Oh, no, I think we're just too slow. We lost two times in that second to last. Uh, that last sector, actually. God damn. Well, this car might look pretty cool in this paint job. 
but that stats reverse. Um, <laughs> and we couldn't get it to go any faster. So, a 201-283 puts it into 7th place, demoting this Kia Stinger into 8th by 1 tenth of a second. It is a good 7 tenths um, slower than that um, Bentley Speed Tips concept though. And that is, no, that's, that's still not the fastest. The fastest foot oh, the driver car we took is the i8. And I knew from the start this thing was never getting close to that. It just doesn't have the, the, the stability for it. All the, the, it's too heavy, to be honest. But anyway, our next challenge is to max out the gear ratios, max out everything for top speed, and take it to Le Mans to see what speed it can do. I'll see you guys there. So, the gear, the aero, the suspension, all been tuned to get the highest speed out of this car. And, um, well, you, what you've got to remember about this car is it's very heavy. It's very strange. Um, I'm not meant to. That, yeah. And one thing I've heard look at the door handles for this thing. Look at them. Look, they're so high up. I thought she's, I thought she's my um, thingy then as well. But yeah, look, it, they're so high up. I don't understand. This car is so strange. You've got a, a a speed up which only tells you if you're doing 0 or 160 and the door handles are, are like waist, like, are like shoulder high for some people and also look at the, the rear lights, the rear, uh, I don't know this car's weird some weird features man I never noticed until just now as we're racing it here in third person but yeah what can we do eh? We just gotta get around. It does handle pretty well like this. Uh, well, he, he, I literally just said that as I threw it off the track. No! Owie! There we go. I meant to do that. Deja vu in that. Right. Let's see what our amazing Lincoln can do. I'm already doing around about 150. 170. There it is. It's accelerating quickly. 190. Oh, I'm gonna have to shift up. This, the car looks really pretty, like in this paint job. We got a little bit of a crash there, so I want to look at it from this angle. 210. I'm not even concentrating. Holy crap! 215, 260, 217, 220. Yes, 221, 222. Recovering the beating. The, come on, 220. There's the 10th stage feet. 227. Now he's got to get the key thing. Got 246, 230. This is not accelerating fast enough. 232. Come on. Accelerate faster. Oh, corner. I was a little bit of a crash there. Oh my god, that car, the side of the car is ruined. 232 is the fastest, the highest we've seen so far. Oh, god. Well. That meant to happen. 232 is the fastest we went in this thing. And well, that puts it in between the HSV Gen F GTS and the Kia Stinger. 232 miles an hour means 6 miles an hour up on that HSV, but a good 14 down on the Kia Stinger. You can check the, um, obviously it comes up on screen the leaderboard, but you can also check it down below in the description if you want to check out all the cars we've taken around, the um, Mugello circuit and for top speed runs. Um, also, comment down below what car you want to see doing next. We might do the, uh, the not the Honda, the Volvo XC90 uh, which we reviewed yesterday um, well yesterday when you see it I'm not actually reviewed it yet so uh, <laughs> I don't know what I think of it but anyway yeah comment down below what you want to see us do if you don't well there will be the Volvo uh, next time or maybe some like the Alpha from the new car and stuff like that but anyway hope you guys have enjoyed if you have leave a like and subscribe for more to the cars on the channel very very soon Anyway, that's it from me, Timmy's Hyper, signing off.